In this video, we're going to talk about something called the transpose function. And this function allows us to convert data that is horizontal into vertical data, and vice versa. We can convert vertical data into horizontal data. So first, let's uh, zoom in so you can see things clearly. Maybe not too much, but that should be good. And let's say we have the names Mike, Sally, Lauren, Joseph, and Newton. So let's say we want to take this information, which is laid out horizontally, and convert it into basically a vertical form. So first we need to copy this selection that we highlighted. And one way to do that is to click the Home tab and then the Copy button. Next, highlight any cell that you want to or where you want to put the data in and then right click the cell, click Paste Special. Once you click that, go to Paste Special again, and then you'll see this box at the bottom which says Transpose. So you want to check that box and then click the OK button. As you can see, the horizontal data has been transposed into uh, vertical data. And so that's one way you can do it. Now, let's say if you have two rows of data instead of one. So let's say for this option, we'll put someone's first name and here the last name. So let's say we have Mike Johnson and let's say Susan Wilson. And for the next one will be Rachel Adams. And let's say Joseph Brooke. And let's say Ronald Gonzalez. So let's do the same thing. Let's highlight the data that we want to convert into a vertical form. Now let's copy it. Another way to copy it is to click or press down Control and C. So that's one way you can uh, copy that information. Highlight a cell, right click, and then go to Paste Special, Paste Special again, Transpose, and that's how you can convert horizontal data into vertical data. So that wasn't too bad. Now let's talk about how we can go backwards, how we can take vertical data and convert it to horizontal data. Now I could use what I have here, but I'm going to start with a fresh slate. Let's get rid of this. I may have to delete these rows. So let's say we have just one column of information. Let's say Karen, Jonathan, Luke, whoops, let's do that again, David, and let's say Arnold. All you have to do is follow the same process. So let's select those five cells and then Control C. Click on another cell, right click, Paste Special, Paste Special again and then transpose. So that's how you can convert vertical data into horizontal data. Now let's try an example with this time let's say three columns of information. So we're gonna have the first name, the last name, the email address, let's say phone number maybe an extra column, and that's it. Let's make these two columns wider. So let's say we have Morgan Johnson. Let's say Sally Clark. Let's say Tim Hmm. Tim Williams, and then John Smith, 
and that's it for that. So email, let's say morgan.j at msn.com. And then sally.c at gmail.com. And then tim.w at yahoo.com. And then john.s at hotmail.com. And let's say the numbers are 217-358-4723. And then 540. Let me select that cell. So 540-395-2384. Let's say 717-403-2846. And for the last one, we'll say 937-276-9481. Now, let's select the five rows of information. And then Control-C. This is still highlighted, so I'm going to delete this. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's my computer or if it's my keyboard that's acting up, but it's an issue of something. So now the delete button's working, but I want to delete this entire row. I'm not sure why it wasn't working before. Maybe my keyboard is just messed up. So now let's try this again. Control C. Okay, now it wants to work. And then let's select this cell, and let's follow the same process. So notice that the information that was vertical, we had the first name in the vertical direction, the last name in the vertical direction, the email in the vertical direction. Now, notice that the first name is horizontal. As you can see, it corresponds to the vertical information that we see here. The last name which was vertical, is now horizontal. And so everything gets switched. Any data that's listed horizontally becomes uh, a vertical data if you use the transpose function, and any data that's listed in uh, the vertical direction becomes horizontal data. So now you know how to use the transpose function, and that's all there is to it. So let me just go ahead and expand these columns. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.